we had 100 or 150 years to adjust to industrialization, what do we have this time? And is it as simple as the second machine aid guys say, who say if we stop technological advancement now, we could keep inventing things at a rate that would employ people? I don't know. Every change in the past, we've said we're toast, and then we figured out how to invent new things. So there was a Davos-like thing that, uh, that I went to a couple of years ago in Seoul, and you know, I was the only keynote speaker who had not either been a former prime minister or Nobel laureate. And so I knew I was out of my league, and I said, look, I think it's terribly important that we worry about you know, debt in Europe and the world. We have to deal with that. But I said, I'm just a guy who looks at organizations, and I have a simple question. And my simple question is, 7 billion people on Earth, 4.5 or 5 billion of them work. What in the hell are they going to be doing 25 years from now? I really do believe that the only defense against automation is the development of talent. What other choice is there if you're going to deal with the forces that we're talking about? You don't have any choice except to develop people. If you sat down with the chief executive officer of an American, big American company, Fortune 100, and you had a 45-minute uh, tour de horizon of that company, would the word training ever come out of their mouth? Why in the hell is that the case in business? And then you get into the self-defeating circle as they don't invest in training, and as a result of that, the training that's given is crappy, and nobody wants to take the training, which then, in fact, convinces them that they don't need to do the training. I want to punch somebody out like the whole world, which, of course, is what I've been trying to do for the last 35 years. But it's, it's a, I don't know. Why isn't it obvious? I mean, here, here's the point. Why is it so bloody obvious to a theater director, a ballet company director, a sports coach, that you're as good as your talent, and it isn't to somebody who's running a company of, with 200,000 or 20,000 or even 2,000? Why?